Hey guys, so basically I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why Fox Business and people who enjoy Fox Business and listen to Fox Business are going to vote for Andrew Yang. Now many of us may have been Republicans, some of us are independents. I would imagine a lot a large amount of us are independents uh, in terms of the spectrum. So let me just get this out of the way. Uh, the squad, Omar, right now, as we speak, is having a rally for uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, AOC has been at many Bernie Sanders rally rallies before. The squad is a little too extreme for someone who watches Fox Business. Um, I do appreciate that they are very strong women. And they have very interesting backgrounds and viewpoints. I mean, you couldn't make script... Uh, a more interesting background for um, some of these the squad members all four of these squad members and I think that's what makes them very strong and appealing to uh, Democrats however as a small business owner um, a lot of what they want to do like student loan forgiveness is a big one for me um, universal health care uh, they always uh, say the solution is tax rich and as middle class, I'm very, very afraid of that. Uh, whenever someone says we're going to tax the rich or we're going to tax the corporations or we're going to tax Amazon, uh, let me break down why Amazon cannot be taxed. Because you don't pay tax unless you make money. Uber, Lyft, Amazon, Facebook, I mean, none of these companies supposedly make money. GE does not make, has not made a cent in the last two decades, right? They haven't paid taxes. For instance, in the terms of person out and person, let's say that you own a business and you spend a lot of money at your business traveling and, oh, let's say your business is your travel photographer. Well, your hotel, your airfare, um, your meals, all of this stuff is part of your business and part of your brand, right? Your Instagram photographer. And any money you make is just going to be spent. So therefore, when tax season comes, your tax return is going to show that you haven't made any money even though you've lived the best lifestyle you could ever live. Uh, GE has tax credit. You might be like, how is that possible for a business to never pay taxes? The answer is it never makes money. Like it spends all the money into research and development for future money, right? Or you look at Apple, you look at Google, you look at... These are companies making a lot of money and they're not located. Their main headquarters is not in the U.S. Like if I asked you, where do you think Google does most of its major business? You would say, oh, of course, it's California, the state with the most tax. Huh, doesn't that sound kind of strange to you? Why would? Oh, right. They're both in Ireland because Ireland does not give a blank about taxes. They just want jobs, right? I mean, everyone in Ireland is very well compensated. I was talking to the taxi driver when Google sent me over, and he was, you know, he's like, oh, you know, everyone kind of benefits from the, uh, they call it the uh, Facebook stipend or the Google stipend. Um, I forget if Snapchat was there or not, but I know, um, obviously, I was at the Google building, and I know Facebook was down the street. So when you talk about um, bigger companies, and like the same with Huawei. It's not just American companies, okay? It's like every company. So every company's sole goal is not to pay taxes. They have a army of lawyers. Army of tax... Like who can afford a tax attorney? Like I'm a small business and I can afford to talk to a tax attorney for two hours before I file my taxes a year. Like that's about it. That's all I can afford. Tax attorneys are $500, $800... I'm not talking about the H&R block, okay? They're not real tax attorneys. They're just like people with a, um, a piece of software. And you do have like questions because taxes are like really complicated. You look at it and you're like, oh, what is this stuff? Like, so you need someone to help you. But I can only afford for that someone to help me for two hours. Now imagine GE. How many tax attorneys or how many tax attorneys can they hire? My gosh, they could hire a million of them. And they would never pay taxes, right? Worst case, they would just put more money into research and development. 
So that's why companies don't. And Amazon is actually reporting losses. Wink, wink. So I, I, if a company loses money and has investor money, so the company, if you ask, why is, how's the company that loses money every year still surviving like Uber? Uber loses money every single year. WeWorks. Um, I urge you to study WeWorks if you don't believe what I'm saying. They're a company that went from $48 billion to $7 billion in a blink of an eye. And no, now they can't even IPO because the value is so little. But they pay their uh, founder $1.9 billion to leave. All right, sounds good to me. And they paid $8 billion for a company not even, what was it, $10 billion? For a company valued at less than $8, mil, $8 billion. So they're paying more money, so they take a loss on their books for their main company, SoftBank. And the more you understand this, the more you will realize what my greatest fear is. Small business is going to get decimated if people keep saying we're going to tax the rich. Small business are not rich people. They're in the, the middle, uh, middle of America. So the middle class in America has fallen every single year. Even during Obama, you might say, oh, Obama will help the middle class. He did not. And there's statistical proof that this doesn't happen. So Fox Business wants to help small business. I, I really do believe that. You might think, you might not believe that, but I truly believe that. And their news articles and their TV show, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's good information for small business. And it definitely uh, makes me think sometimes about, like, should I operate my business in a different way? Small business is middle class. If all we have are giant Walmart, that then then it's like the there's no middle class, right? There's no mom and pop farmer market or grocery store or independent. I mean, there's not even any gro mom and pop grocery stores anymore. But what I'm talking about, I, I I own a toy store here in Humble, Texas, and there's a bunch of toy stores, and they're all independently owned. And in my opinion, it's a great economy. Because you can go from one toy store to another toy store, buy the toy that you want at the price you want, and then and you have the option, you have options. And if you talk to me, because I own a toy store, you might be like, oh, I really want this toy, but it's too expensive. Can you get for uh, this you know, amount of money? And I'll be like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Which is different from like Amazon, right? Or Walmart, where it's a set price. It's very, It's much more human, and you can even discuss... I think the best part of owning a toy store is discussing the toys with the customers and you know how you got into it and the Pokemons and the Digimons and the animes and the fake grand orders and you know if someone's looking at a fake grand order figure you know that before they pay the $200 to the figure they're going to talk to you about the anime. Um, Istar is selling really well right now because of Babylonia the anime even though my cap broke one of them. So yeah, so you broke the sample. So I'm not happy about that because I was going to post pictures, but not the sample was broken. But at least the, uh, the ones that were selling are. So when you talk about Fox business, I just want someone logical and moderate. And that is all the Fox business people want. They don't want someone to say something that is just so out there like tax the wealthy or tax the big corporations. That's so like untrue because that never happens. And as a, a small business owner, you know exactly why that doesn't happen. Because if you don't make money, you cannot get taxed. None of these companies make money. They're just like that traveling Instagram photographer. They're living the best life they can and expensing it all. And why should they not? I mean, people more. I mean, look at Facebook stock market price today. Look at uh, Instagram, not Instagram, Facebook, what Instagram. Look at Google stock price. These are companies that continue. Oh, let's say Google makes money. Okay, let's say Google made a hundred billion dollars. What do you think they're going to do? They'll just buy YouTube. Now they're break even again. Or Facebook. Facebook makes let's say a hundred trillion, a hundred billion dollars. All right, we'll just uh, buy Instagram now. 
Who bought? Did anyone, did anyone buy Pinterest recently? I'm surprised Pinterest is still there. Oh, Tumblr. I remember. Some dumb, dumb company bought Tumblr for a bunch of money and then lost money. And then therefore, they've never made money for the next, like, for their entire life. Uh, who bought Tumblr? Oh, no, I don't. Bought Tumblr. Okay, Verizon. Yeah, those dumb dumbs. I, I shouldn't say dumb dumb dumbs. They actually run my phones. Um, which first acquired Tumblr in 2017 after it purchased Yahoo, uh, started to explore a sale. According to Axis, a stunning drop in value. So right now, Tumblr is worth less than $3 million. Yahoo paid $1.1 billion for it in 2013. So Verizon has lost, my gosh, that's ugly. Is that, that can't be right. Oh yeah, it is right. So let's say we're a company and we need to uh, not pay taxes. Why don't we buy this Tumblr company? It sold, we bought it for $1.1 billion and now it is worth less than $3 million. And we're just going to say that we never made any money because we obviously lost about $1.1 billion. I mean, let's see. Tumblr early days, how did this once uh, happen? I had... All these cool videos, okay, Tumblr. A 2018 policy change alienated many of its users and longtime supporters. Um, Tumblr struggled to keep pace with other social media giants as Twitter and Facebook, obviously, until the ban. Oh, I see. Tumblr was used for a, a very bad purpose and they banned it. Hmm. Wow. All right, but anyway, so Tumblr, uh, I'm not going to say what tum happened to Tumblr, but uh, something bad happened to it after they banned certain users from posting uh, bad things on it, which turned out to be the whole value. <laughs> so it's a $1.1 billion valuation came from users posting. Oh, God, it's so awful. But anyway, so Tumblr, uh, kind of like Facebook and Google, like, Hey, Verizon, you need to not pay your taxes this year or for the next 100 years. Buy Tumblr. <laughs> Lose, report $1.1 billion of losses from a poor investment on your books and you will never have to pay a cent of taxes. And that's what it is, right? And you might be like, oh, well, why don't you do this small business, Tony? Tony Stomp and Wall, and I am. So I recently invested in a meal preparation company. So I'm 15% owner. And I realized that, hey, like I would be better off investing and even losing money because you lose, small businesses lose a ton of money. My small business lost over 100K in the first year of operate, almost 200K in the first year of operations. They lose a lot of money. It's the, the overhead costs and you're not you don't have any sales you, you don't have sales for a long time so all you are doing is spending money so we have to have a kitchen we have to have the food preparation we have to have the packaging material we have to have the marketing the website which we still don't have the social media the management the um, social media tools like I mentioned before it's very expensive so yeah you're going to bleed money and then you would just report that as a loss to your main company so yeah, can I interest you in Tumblr? Do you want to lose $1.1 billion? Verizon, Verizon said, yep, I do. And that is why none of these other strategies as a Fox business, per, as a person who watches Fox business, I'm very scared of every candidate not named Andrew Yang from the Democratic side. Because I fully understand what tax to rich means. I get it. Um, even be before I opened my own startup, I had a startup during the Obama administration, and it was no different. Like, you can't tax these people. They'll just buy Tumblr. <laughs> you know? And then, and you, they, they, they would rat. Okay, so if they would rather buy Tumblr, I mean, Verizon, you have to imagine Verizon is a smart company, and Yahoo at one point was a smart company, given their two options, pay taxes or buy a company that's going to 
I mean, it was a very bad investment that was overvalued. But then what's the difference between Tumblr and WeWork? I mean, go Google WeWork. They lost $40 billion overnight. And they will never have to pay taxes ever. 